it's probably pretty easy to um to come up with examples involving triangles, but let's do one for the record. So let's do an example from the textbook where we've got two radar towers or radio towers here and here and they're 20 miles apart and we've got an airplane flying overhead and we want to know the height of the airplane. Well, our towers will be able to measure these angles of elevation without problem. And let's say we get 15 degrees and 35 degrees. So you might look at this and you might not really think of it as a law of signs problem because this angle we're looking for isn't or rather this uh this distance we're looking for isn't something we can get immediately from the law of signs what the law of signs would let us do is solve this triangle it would let us find this side of the triangle it would let us solve that side of the triangle it doesn't immediately let us solve that vertical height. But the thing is that if we can find one of the sides of the triangle, if we can find A, for example, then we can find this height using right triangle trigonometry. The sine of 15 degrees equals H over A. So if we can use the law of sines to find A, we can then find H. And no sooner said than done, practically. If we want to find A, we'll write the sine of 35 degrees over A equals, equals what? Well, the other angle we have written down is this 15 degrees. But you can see that this isn't very helpful because it leaves us with two unknowns, this A and this B. What would be more useful than that would be if we could use this angle because we know this side, 20. And that angle isn't labeled, but we can find it. There are one hundred 
80 degrees in a triangle. So if you know two of the angles, you can find the third angle. Uh, in particular, this is 130 degrees. And the law of signs gives us this. So we've done a few examples of this already. Yeah. So that's some um, rush through it. When we solve for A, we wind up with about 14.98 miles. And as discussed, once we know what A is, we can find what the height is. The sine of 15 degrees equals H divided by 15.98 Multiply both sides by 15.98. Finally, plug that whole thing into a calculator and get 3.88. So the airplane is 3.88 miles above the ground.